the nurse who was waiting for her blind date. The guy arrived at the meeting place very early, but the woman felt quite uncomfortable with the man's vulgarity. The woman gradually realized, the man might not be the one whom she was waiting for. So she asked him to leave politely, however, the man did not want to leave, he locked the door. Meanwhile, he approached the woman. The woman became uncharitable in her tone of voice, but in the face of her repeated expulsions, he crossed her out and showed his true color. Waiting until the real blind date to hold a bouquet, opened the door and walked into the house. He was shocked by the scene that's happening. Panically, he called the police. Miranda, with bruises all over his body, was rushed to the hospital. She laid in the bed, gazing nowhere with her dull eyes, leaving every bruise on her body to the police. William, the man molested her was sent to jail by the police. But after this trauma, Miranda couldn't sense any happiness in her life. She locked herself up in her house all day long, having no desire to return to the outside world again. Miranda tried hard to bounce back. She began to plant flowers in his yard. She went back to work, but her hands couldn't stop trembling. This made Miranda, who was a nurse, be disqualified from the operating table. She tried everything to overcome the difficulties, but no matter how hard she tried, she could not control the sequelae of hand trembling. Day after day, the grievance she endured devastated her. At that night, Miranda seemed to have figured out something. She began to write letters to William, saying she wanted to see him, but the letters were returned. Miranda kept writing. Finally, after the letters were returned dozens of times, William finally agreed to see him. The two of them met through the glass. Miranda explained the reason she insisted on coming to see him, because she was eager to gaze at William's eyes without fear. William expressed his apologies, but Miranda suddenly showed her concern on his life in prison. This took William by surprise. What surprised him even more was that, that wasn't the only time Miranda pay a visit to him. They two started with some awkward conversation firstly, then slowly began to talk about family matters. Miranda seemed to find her old self, she began to smile and laugh, she even asked her father to leave the dog at home with her. On this day, Miranda dressed sexily, she went to see William in prison as usual. But she was told that William could not meet with him today. As for the exact reason, the jailer did not want to disclose too much, because of William's missed appointment last time. Miranda seemed pissed when he came over again, but William told him that in order to get out of prison earlier, he never fought back against those inmates who bullied him. The reason why he couldn't meet with Miranda last time, was because he was seriously injured. He had a lot of stitches in his back. On Valentine's Day, Miranda showed up on time on the other side of the phone. Miranda encouraged him, because he behaved well in the prison. He was about to get a parole. He hoped that Miranda could give him a chance to redeem for his sin. But a hint of panic flashed by Miranda's face. William confessed, he would never do that to him again. Miranda asked in reply, do you think you've received enough punishment? William said that although the past could not be erased, but he would do everything he could to make up for the harm he had done to Miranda. Miranda was at work that day, she received flowers from William the parolee. But Miranda didn't show her welcome, she blamed William should not have been sent to the hospital. But now William is convinced that Miranda has fallen in love with him. After a brief night's rest at the motel, he showed up at Miranda's doorstep straight away. He said that Miranda had said that she was renovating the house, so he wanted to come over to help her. Although Miranda was prepared for this, but she didn't expect him to come so soon. She promised to let William stay and help her. William just smiled, then he grabbed his tools and went to work. Miranda was pouring water, the shaky hands started again. When she saw the figure of William at the door, her hands reached to the knife subconsciously. Until she was sure that William was just passing by the door, only then did she breathe a sigh of relief. William found a hole in the corridor roof. He tells Miranda that he's going to buy some materials to mend it. In the grocery store, Miranda's father saw William. He walked to the corner and picked up a wooden stick. While checking out, William pulled out a crumpled bill and learned that he was still 50 cents short. He just took a coin out of the owner's change jar, then threw it on the table with a sight of threat and disdain in his eyes. Not wanting to cause any trouble, the owner had no choice but to ignore. The father recognized the piece of wood William had brought with him was the broken ceiling in Miranda's house. Rushing to his house in a frenzy. He was furious with Miranda for having contact with this scumbag. Miranda calmed her father down, saying that he was just trying to redeem himself. She didn't want to live in grief forever. The father was very confused by Miranda's behavior. The next day, William went to Miranda's house for helping. Miranda offered a glass of lemonade hospitably first, 
Then she watched William drink it. As William finished his part, Miranda handed him a brush. The two were very close to each other, painting the chair together. Just after a few moments, William began to sweat. Something didn't seem right. He wished he could lie down in Miranda's bedroom for a while. He was obviously not going to make it back the way he was. Miranda was a little nervous. She granted William's request. When William opened his eyes again, he saw Miranda wearing a beautiful white dress. It was the same one she had worn the day being molested. She placed a towel on William's forehead gently. William couldn't help but say the same words again. You are so beautiful. Looking at Miranda taking care of herself tenderly, William was once again sure that he had really made a fortune. But when he found out that he was tied to Miranda's bed, Miranda also revealed the truth. She had never forgotten this man has brought harm to herself. Over the year, Miranda has been experimenting with dogs, and finally she got the perfect proportions. Miranda also brought the surgical tools skillfully. William then fell asleep again. When he woke up, he found himself losing consciousness. He didn't dare to drink any cup of water Miranda handed to him, until Miranda had drunk it. At that moment, the doorbell rang, Miranda turned to answer the door. Unable to move, William tried to call out for help. Miranda gagged him with a towel. After signing for the delivery, she dragged a hammer down the stairs. She tricked William ruthlessly then she lifted the bed sheet. William then realized, he was holding left hand cut and off by her. Miranda showed him the hands which no longer tremble anymore, this meant that she had overcome her fears. She smiled as he watched William being teased, then he lifted all the sheets, all could be heard was William's screams of pain. The next day Miranda came to her father's house, she said that William would never come to his house again. So, where do you think the guy might go? Leave your comment, and if you like the video, please press like and subscribe for more recaps, you can let us know what movie you would like to see, see you next time.